Okay, sit down for a moment, because you're about to find out that you've been lied to your whole life. Pineapples aren't pine cones, and they aren't apples. Just kidding, that was obvious. Everybody knows that they're just berries. Didn't know that? Also, you didn't need to cut them up when you eat them. Surprised? Well, looks like pineapples are not what they seem. Wow, I guess it is a good day for a groundbreaking truth reveal. But yeah, you'll have to deal with it. Pineapples are berries that are really easy to eat. To be fair, you only need a knife to cut off the top of the pineapple, the part with those spiky leaves. Then all that's left is to pick off the separate fruitlets and enjoy. On the outside of the pineapple, it looks like it has some kind of scales, which are actually berries fused together during the growth and ripening process. It has a lot more in common with a raspberry than an apple if you think about it. Hope now it's easier for you to finally call it a berry. Also, those scale-like outsides of pineapples are the exact reason for its weird name. The thing is, pineapple was first found by European explorers somewhere around 1664 in South America. By that time, pine cones, as we know them now, were called pineapples instead. The name was changed to pine cones in 1694. But pineapples, which resembled pine cones to the explorers, have kept their original name to this very day. This whole story about names brought 30 years of pure confusion, which pineapples are tasty, and which will probably crack your teeth if you try to take a bite. The fact that pineapple can be eaten that effortlessly shook the internet with a huge wave of viral videos demonstrating it. But almost nobody took a step forward to explain why it's possible. Every fruit, vegetable, and berry was once a flower on a plant. In the case of pineapple, it resembles just a bunch of thick, waxy blades of grass growing from a joint root. In the center of this bunch, beautiful, bright red, lavender, or purple flowers will start to grow. They are gathered together like a clover flower, but in large numbers up to 200 flowers on each plant, and each one of them will produce a single berry in the future. Then, those berries will just merge into each other, forming the pineapple that we all know. For the fruit to fully grow, it takes an astonishing three years. That makes it pretty clear why this delicious stuff costs so much. Personally, aside from the aforementioned cost, the only thing that was stopping me from eating pineapples every day was the long process of peeling and cleaning. But now that it's not such a pain, it's great news because pineapples hold some unique qualities a lot of us need in our lives. First of all, they are literally jam-packed with vitamins and other important nutrients. They contain so much vitamin C, for example, that they can ease the symptoms of a cold or even the flu. Pineapples are also really good in providing you with antioxidants and a very special enzyme called bromelain, which helps your digestion by dissolving proteins that are hard to digest otherwise. For the same reason, pineapple juice is often used to soften meat while cooking and to give it a unique sweet tang, of course. Oh, and one other important thing. Pineapples are the best-selling fruit in the whole of their biological family. Even though they are slow to grow, they live for over 50 years and they are quite easy to maintain. They can spawn roots from any separate part. Even if you drop the sliced top of the pineapple on the ground and forget about it, it would still try to grow. But of course, pineapples are tropical plants and need high amounts of both moisture and warm sunlight. Another thing most people get wrong about pineapples is they don't need to ripen more at home. They will stay as they were harvested no matter what. It's no use looking at the color of a pineapple from the outside. It can be green, brown, or orange, but there will be absolutely no difference in taste. It's hard to believe that the simplicity of preparing pineapple was a secret for so long. But there are even more foods that we were absolutely wrong about. Kiwi is much easier to eat without peeling off its fuzzy skin at all. Just cut off one side and enjoy it with a spoon. You know, like with a boiled egg, but it's green and hairy. You get the idea. And if you really want it sliced, slice it first, then peel the skin off. You'll thank me later for how clean you'll be. Speaking of eggs, did you know that you don't have to pick every little scale of eggshell from it? It's way easier to just press a boiled egg against a table and roll it a couple of times from side to side. The eggshell will almost fall off by itself, and there will be almost no annoying little scales left after. Just don't push too hard. Cleaning a strawberry using a straw? How come so few of us know this trick? Well, yeah, you can put a straw through a berry and its green cap pops off just like that. 
What a shocker! And yeah, sucking the strawberry pulp from a straw with a distinctive thump sounds like a lot of fun. Pistachios are generally known to be difficult to open. The ones that don't fully open are a pain and better left alone. That's a rule, period. Well, not so fast. It turns out that they can be easily opened with the shell of one that's already been eaten. Most of us are so distant from nature that we can mess up even peeling a banana. But monkeys sure know the deal. And they peel bananas from the bottom, not from the top like we do. It's actually much easier this way, as you can see. Stop throwing away the center of the apple. Seriously, you won't even notice it if you eat the apple from the bottom up. This way, only a couple of seeds will be left with no tasty apple pulp missed. Try it, it's definitely worth it. Afraid of pomegranate? I was too, but no more. It's now known that the key to seeding it is just a bowl of water. When you do it underwater, all the bitter membranes will float from the seeds and splashes of ruby juice won't ruin your kitchen. Hey, maybe you know some secret ways to prepare or eat some kind of food that nobody else around you knows of. It'd be great if you'd share it in the comment section. And don't forget to leave this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life.